Hai, berjumpa lagi kita di dalam channel ini. Oke, pada hari ini apa yang admin ingin kongsikan kepada Anda semua, pengikut-pengikut admin maupun yang baru melihat channel ini. Isu ini sangat-sangat menggemparkan, sangat-sangat panas, sangat-sangat terkenal di seluruh dunia. Jadi, sebelum itu bantu admin, admin minta tolong tekan butang subscribe, tekan juga pada butang lonceng supaya Anda semua tidak ketinggalan info-info penting yang akan admin sampaikan di dalam channel ini untuk Anda semua. Terima kasih. Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Um, terima kasih rakan media yang ada, uh, kepimpinan um, kementerian. Um, hari ini um, kebetulan uh, program ini memang telah dirancang dengan lebih lama um, untuk mengkaji Um, prestasi pelaksanaan RMK 12 rancangan Malaysia ke-12 jadi um, saya setakat ini hanya melihat secara kasar um, laporan prestasi um, tapi pada hari ini kita ada wakil-wakil daripada seluruh agensi dan kementerian yang terlibat termasuk juga um, penyertaan daripada Bank Dunia yang menjadi penganjur bersama untuk memberi peluang kepada um, kumpulan yang bertanggungjawab mengendalikan perancangan dan pemantauan uh, rancangan Malaysia ke-12 supaya we take a take a, you know uh, we get a we take a stock uh, where we are uh, terutamanya um, dalam keadaan kita menjangkakan um, cabaran ekonomi dunia um, lebih mencabar tahun depan and certainly that will have a, a spillover effect um, to the country um, one of the first task that I hope I can collaborate with the ministry and, and with our civil servants um, also to work with other relevant ministries are to simulate different scenarios given different economic outlook um, for next year and the year after because uh, my ministry is involved with long-term planning and long-term development um, especially capacity and capability building kind of projects um, obviously um, any further shock to the global economy will have its spill over effect to the country and what we want to do um, and hopefully it can um, equip the new government better in navigating this is we want to see how different directions and different uh, quantum of the shock uh, produce different um, spillover effects to the country so hopefully we'll be able to see if for example if global recession does take place what will be the extent in for a certain extent how it will affect us fiscally how it will not just a question of growth but also in many other um, aspects as well and that would allow us hopefully to assist other ministries especially um, finance ministry to be able to see how we can strike a balance navigating these two or three difficult years. Uh, never mind the fact that we also have to be mindful of the very high expectation of the public um, that this government has to deliver very quickly uh, in matters that have immediate um, improvement to their livelihood. So, you know, it's a multi-dimensional challenge um, so I hope um, I can be given the space and time um, to be able to see um, how different um, scenarios uh, can help us achieve all these multi-dimensional challenges in the next one or two months Okay, so that's the dry one. I'm sure you guys are bored about that. You want to ask about other things. Any questions? Ada soalan? Ya. Yeah. Ada 
dengan RSP ke-12 kan ada beberapa polisi Bidang Sabun Putra yang menjalankan Jadi kita kena buat ini kita dalam uh, polisi tersebut Dan lagi satu mengenai perhatikan kebalan kebenaran Mungkin kita ada kerja dengan Mampi kan? Um, pelantikan timbalan-timbalan uh, menteri saya difahamkan uh, semalam um, ialah ada ada perbincangan yang pendek saja proses itu akan berjalan minggu ini dan proses itu adalah sama seperti yang juga kita gunakan untuk um, membentuk kabinet iaitu ada beberapa peraturan tertentu dari segi berapa jumlah timbalan menteri daripada gabungan-gabungan yang tertentu um, akan bergantung kepada jumlah sumbangan ahli-ahli parlimen dan masing-masing dan um, Perdana Menteri akan menentukan portfolio yang dirasakan sesuai um, dan terpulang kepada gabungan-gabungan um, untuk mencalonkan nama-nama berdasarkan nama-nama itu kemudian Perdana Menteri akan melihat kesesuaian kepakaran pengalaman dengan kementerian masing-masing sebelum dibawa untuk perkenan ke, um, ke, ke bawah dulia Maha Mulia Tuan Ku so I think that process um, is this week and um, most probably you know it will take one two weeks um, I, I really can't answer but the process has started um, mengenai program-program yang berkaitan dengan Bumi Putra ya, um, saya tak nampak bahawa ada perubahan drastik kepada apa-apa perubahan atau apa-apa perancangan yang telah dibuat secara keseluruhan Um, untuk RMK ke-12 you know, As I say in the meeting um, Selalunya Plans are good What we want to make sure Is that the plans really achieve its goal And is carried out um, We cannot repeat um, You know Some of the um, Downside Of economic planning Iaitu kadang-kadang yang menyediakan ni susah payah buat but it doesn't get done because we got bogged down by other things by the politics lah by all this kan jadi saya tak nampak kita akan ada apa-apa yang begitu drastik of course you know we will take time to go through one by one to consult the stakeholders the ministries dan sebagainya but what I want to be um, to pay more attention we want to make sure that it really delivers what it intended to You want to make sure that every single one ringgit when spent, if originally is intended to liberate so and so from poverty, be it whether you are Bumi Putra or not, it will actually deliver that. That's that's I think what I can contribute better. Of course, through the process when we do midterm review, we take into account global challenges. There might be some uh, modifications that we have. Um, to build in you know there might be some constraint there might be more opportunity so is is a work in progress um, and um, so long as we are agile in terms of incorporating the challenges and we look at the implementations very closely and make sure that we adapt you know as appropriately and i think then um, within the time span of rmk 12 Hopefully, um, we will be able to achieve um, most, if not all, of the objectives. So that's that's something that we will go through um, periodically. Yeah. Your speech, you mentioned about the current revenue is not as diverse as other countries. Do you think that is because of the It's not my place to say that um, because um, it's finance ministers. Uh, you know, um, but of course, you know, I'm sure um, our job here at the economic ministry um, is to provide um, possibilities and as I said, um, scenarios as well as some planning and some um, projections. You know. Um, the decision um, on how to strengthen our revenue, um, be it in terms of the revenue streams, how robust it is, um, how varied it is, um, 
will definitely have to be made um, collectively as a government. Uh, but I think it is also open knowledge that um, uh, we cannot depend too much on, um, for example, natural resource related revenue, for example, or commodity related revenue. Um, but I think it's, it is um, something that is too early and also not in my place to comment on that. But I'm sure it is a subject that will become the focus. When I say the subject, I don't mean introduction of GST. I mean uh, making sure that our revenue streams are more robust, especially given um, you know the challenges that we we are facing. And um, as I mentioned in my speech, we hope to be a lot more um, creative and innovative, not just in terms of the makeup of the economy, but also, I suppose, in terms of how we approach all these so-called structural economic questions. You know, the you know how varied our revenue streams, everything. Um, we hope to be able to see from different different angles. So that's why I think um, tax or uh, taxation alone um, may not be the only um, angle that we look for. Um, obviously, over the long term, you do want to vary your taxation streams so that it's more robust and it's less dependent on certain um, industry. But there is a process that cannot be decided or done abruptly within a few months that you take government. It does take some time, but it's our job to make sure that we provide enough um, scenarios for the cabinet to consider.